Next we're going to be doing a palpation of the wrist and hand. First we're going to start with our dorsal or posterior structures. Uh, first we, we want to start off with our uh, bony structures here on the, um, the lateral side of the hand um, in anatomical position. This would be the radius bone and then we have uh, on the, the opposite side, the medial side, we have the ulnar bone in anatomical position. Uh, and then we have uh, the carpal bones um, right here at the base, at the anatomical stuff box at the, at the base of the thumb. We have a, our first carpal bone is a scaphoid. Uh, next to that, um, right in line with our first finger is going to be our, uh, or actually our third finger is going to be our um, uh, lunate bone. Our third uh, carpal bone in the uh, uh, proximal row of the carpals is going to be our triquitrium. Okay, and sometimes for the quitrium or the pesiform, it might help if we uh, radial deviate uh, the wrist to make those more palpable. Uh, and then we also have the pal uh, um, the uh, pisiform, which will is easier to palpate on the uh, palmar side. Uh, next, going up to our distal row of our carpals, we have our uh, right in front of the uh, scaphoid, we have our uh, quite uh, trapezium bone, which again is in line with the uh, first digit. Uh, next to that, we have our uh, trapezoid at the base of the second finger. And then we have next to that our uh, capitate bone. Uh, which is in line with the uh, third um, digit, the middle finger. Um, and then on the far end we have the handmate, which again is uh, easier to palpate on the palmar side. Uh, another bony landmark we have here is, um, at, is called the Lister's tubercle or the tubercle of the radius. Uh, and that is about uh, one third over from the distal radius, and it's going to be the the small little bump that you see. It's between the um, the radius and the um, carpal bone. And then we also have our uh, five metacarpals bones uh, here at our thumb, first finger, second, third, and fourth metacarpal bones which uh, can be palpated. And then we also have our uh, phalanges. We have two phalanges at, on the uh, thumb. And then at each of our fingers we have a uh, proximal uh, phalange, a middle phalange bone, and then a distal phalange uh, for each of your uh, digits that you can palpate, anteriorly or posteriorly. And then we also have our uh, joints. Uh, here uh, we have, uh, between our metacarpals and our phalangeal joints, we have uh, metacarpal phalangeal joints. Uh, we have five of those that you can palpate. Uh, and then we also have our uh, inner phalangeal joint here at the uh, thumb only. Uh, and then at each of the fingers, four fingers, we have a proximal inner phalangeal joint and a distal inner phalangeal joint. Uh, uh, for those. And then for our soft tissues, uh, here on the radial side we have our radial collateral ligament, uh, which you can palpate um, on the side. And then on the ulnar side we have the same thing, uh, the ulnar collateral ligament uh, at the wrists. And then we also have, uh, we mentioned before, our um, uh, anatomical snuff box, so if we were to ask him to um, hyperextend his, his thumb, it would form uh, the anatomical snuff box uh, between the borders of the abductor uh, longus tendon and the extensor pollicis uh, brevis tendon. Uh, and then at the base of that one, uh, we would have our scaphoid bone, uh, which we palpated earlier for bony structures.
another thing that we have is our uh, radial artery that we can palpate uh, as well as in the anatomical snuff box. Uh, another thing that we have here in, in the back is going to be our uh, wrist extensor muscles uh, that we can palpate here in the forearm or the, the tendons um, at the fingers or the finger extensor muscles uh, or the thumb extensor muscles that, uh, and tendons can all be palpated uh, in the back of the, or posterior side of the, the hand. Next is our palmar or anterior structures. Uh, uh, before we had our uh, pisiform uh, bone here on the medial side uh, which we can palpate. Uh, it's a small round bone uh, lying on the top uh, of or anterior to the uh, triquetrium. Uh, next to that, uh, another thing we have is our uh, hamate and the hook of the hamate is uh, over here. Uh, this is slightly distal to the uh, radius uh, and it's located under um, uh, the tip of the thumb. So you can, might be able to feel the, the hook of the hamate. So, uh, then we also have our uh, thinner eminence, uh, which is uh, here at the base of the thumb, uh, soft tissue. Uh, opposite the hand, we have our uh, hypothenar eminence um, over on the pinky side of the th uh, palm. And then between the two, we have our uh, central uh, compartment located between those two. Uh, and then another thing that we have here, kind of in the center, uh, in line with the third digit, is going to be our uh, uh, carpal tunnel. Is going to run up through here uh, for our median nerve. Um, and then uh, we have other soft tissues that we have um, our wrist uh, flexors groups, our muscles and tendons lie here, as well as our thumb flexor muscles and tendons, and our finger flexors um, tendons and muscles uh, lie on the uh, anterior or palmar surface. That's it.